Hey, how's it going? I've been packing orders all morning. I have a new comic book out. Uh, the new issue of Blammo. Blammo 10 and a half. Uh, and then I have the this, actually, Maple Terrace from Uncivilized Books. So that, I think Maple Terrace you have to get directly from Uncivilized. I don't have any copies of it. I just have this one that I got from Mocha a couple weeks ago. And... Uh, Blamo you get directly from me. I have uh, a link in the this video's description. You can get copies of it there. Um, and I'll send one to you directly. And uh, I'll show you just a little bit of it. So Blamo, of course, was the comic that I made my name in comics doing. I was self-publishing it uh, starting in 2007 was the first issue. This is the last issue that I did. This is Blamo 10. And it came out in, this issue came out in 2018. And then I got too busy working on, of course, the Joseph Smith and the Mormons to, to do another issue. So, uh, but I still was continuing doing work, and I wanted to put out another issue of Blammo. So I kind of gathered up my favorites of those comics that I had scattered around and put together an issue which is on the theme of comics and art. So this is Blamo ten and a half because I like to do half issues in between the you know ten and eleven or whatever because I um, when I do an issue of Blamo everything's intended for for the issue of Blamo and the half issues are comics that weren't really intended for an issue but these just it, it just so happened that everything that I put in here fit very nicely together um, so a lot of it is just about comics, you know, touring with John Porcelino, uh, stories like that, and then, you know, um, like goofy, funny stuff like that, like illustrations and things like that. It's about 50 pages long, and I think it's $10, well, it's $12 on my big cartel, and it comes with these two stickers, of course, except no substitutes, and the Blamo logo. Uh, so yeah, if you want a copy of it, go to my big cartel and I'll, I'll send you one. I'll show you a little bit of Maple Terrace, which is a comic I've been working on lately for Uncivilized Books. And this sprang out of like an idea of like, we should reissue One Dirty Tree, but we should um, add some more stuff in the back. And I thought like, oh, I should just do another story for the back of One Dirty Tree. But then when I started writing, I... I realized that it, that's not really going to work. It's going to make One Dirty Tree seem like some, like one of those DVDs you get that's like a double feature or something. I, I so I kind of changed my mind on doing that. But I but I like the story that I came up with for Maple Terrace. Uh, and so I'm just going to continue with this and uh, have it just be three issues of a comic book. So this is issue one, and I think I said earlier I picked this up at Mocha last week from Uncivilized. And the, this is a. Uh, I guess like this is this is like an ash can edition of the comic because the real comics can be printed on newsprint. So if you've read One Dirty Tree, it's set in that era, 1992-ish, and it's a childhood story that has to do with comic books and how popular uh, comic books were in my neighborhood when I was growing up in the 90s, you know, and uh, in my family. So I'm working on drawing the second issue. Now the second issue is all, I'm almost done with, with drawing it. And I think it's due to Uncivilized at the end of this month. So I'm trying to get that done before I go to TCAF in a couple weeks. Uh, and if you go to TCAF, find me and say hello. I want to say hi to you. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is $6 from the Uncivilized site. I'll put a link in the description of this video too in case you're interested in following Maple Terrace. And you should. Um... Because it is good. I'm, I'm surprising myself with it. I, my cartooning style in this is like simplified, but I, I don't know. Like it works for me. It's like it feels new to me. Like I really, I'm really uh, happy with how this is coming out. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's been a long time since I posted another interview. I'm making a list uh, of people I want to talk to, and one of them I think is Hoche Anderson, maybe, if he if he'll if he's willing to talk to me, I'll reach out to him. I don't know. But I really love his work. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.